Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about phase diagrams, specifically the copper nickel binary phase diagram. I'll go through a couple of definitions. First of all, what's a solution? There are three types of solutions. A liquid solution, you have a solute dissolving completely in a solvent and an example is a saline solution. Secondly, we've got a solid solution. Now in a solid solution, it's not liquid. It's solid. So for example, if you have nickel and copper if it dissolve in each other, it forms a solid solution. Now this is not called a compound because there's no chemical transfer of electrons. And the third form of solution is a gaseous solution. And an example of that is air. Now a phase is basically solid, liquid or gas. And the main definition for a phase is a portion of a system where you have uniform physical and chemical composition or characteristics. And a phase diagram is a diagram that helps you to understand what are the phases that are present within a microstructure at a particular composition and temperature. Next we'll talk about phase diagrams. Now here we'll talk about binary phase diagram but if you think about substance which is say called um, substance A, it could be a metal or it could be an element, any element it would have a specific temperature at which it would melt. So there's a specific temperature where the solid begins to turn into liquid. So for this example, maybe at, 12, at 1200 degrees Celsius, the solid and liquid phase coexist within the microstructure. Now if you begin to introduce another element, for example in this case where we have B, then you don't just have one temperature where solid and liquid coexist within the microstructure. You would have a range of temperatures as you can see here. So that's why we need to understand with phase diagrams what sort of phases are present. So you have a solid solution here, liquid and solid, and then liquid. So now we talk about the copper nickel system. As we saw earlier, copper nickel are really close in the... when you look at the, the diagram I showed earlier, they're very close to each other, so they have they have uniform or they have quite similar atomic structure. So as you can see here, here on this horizontal axis, we have the composition of nickel, which is called the weight percent of nickel. There are three main regions in this phase diagram. This region here, where you have point A, is called a solid solution. Okay, and is denoted by alpha. This region in the middle here is called the alpha plus liquid. So it's both solid and liquid. This is where the melting is taking place. And above here is called the liquid region. And this line here, which separates the alpha region from the alpha plus liquid, is known as the solidus line. And this line here, which separates the liquid region from alpha plus liquid, is known as the liquidus line. Now if you look at the microstructure which is present here, during the solid solution, you've got, you've got grains, and grain boundaries. Now if you move to the alpha plus liquid region then liquid begins to form that's shown by the empty space and when you go above that region into this phase it's just liquid which is shown by this empty box. Now I'll go through a record example just to help you understand liver rule and the tie line. Now this question says you have 35 weight percent of nickel which is the same as 65 percent weight of copper and this is at 1250 degrees Celsius or degrees centigrade. The question is asking how many phases are present or how many or what phase is present? What is or are the compositions of the phase? And calculate the weight percent or the mass fraction. Now to start with, this is a, a, a an expanded image of the copper nickel phase diagram. What you have to do first is take note of this temperature. 1250 degrees Celsius, you have to draw a horizontal line here which intersects the liquidus line and the solidus line. This line is called a tie line. Now from there you project down so what, what, what whatever point you've got here just project it down and that gives you the composition of the liquid and the intersection here if you project it down to the horizontal axis it gives you composition of alpha you have your original composition here, which was given as 35 weight percent of nickel. So, first of all, to answer the first question, 
there are two phases present because we are in the alpha plus liquid phase region. Now secondly is asking us what is the composition of the phases. So C alpha is approximately 43% 43% nickel and C liquid which is the composition of liquid is 32% nickel approximately. And this also translates to 68% of copper. And the third part of the question is asking us to find the weight percent or the mass fraction. To calculate that, W alpha, you, ne you need to take this value here, R over R plus S, which then is 3 over 3 plus 8. Or if you look at it in terms of composition, R represents C0 or C0 minus CL divided by S, which is this region here, C alpha minus CL, okay, which is R plus S. And that gives you the same value of 0.27. Now to find the composition of liquid, or the, sorry, the weight percentage of liquid, that's going to be S over R plus S. And that's the same as C alpha minus C naught over C alpha minus C L. And that gives approximately 0.73%. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned something new. And I'll put a couple of links here in the description box. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.